every day. This isn't a part-time gig. This isn't punch the clock and go home for the day. You don't get weekends off. No. Here, there's no such thing as a weekend. This is an everyday gig. Every day is a Monday. And you might not like that. Me? I love it. To me, every day is a beginning, a new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. And of course, I will get tired. I will get beat up. I'll get knocked down and drained, and I will have some bad days. But I will not. I wanted to be somebody so bad, it just ate me up inside. It was in my bones, it was in my blood, it was in my heart. I want to be somebody. You've got to have standards in your life. You've got to have rules you live by. Discipline, the definition, is doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. I had one rule on my football team, and that was you were going to come to practice every day. Unless your butt was in the hospital, hooked up to life support, your butt was going to be at practice. I am sick and tired of people coming to me saying that they had a setback. Listen to me, a setback is a part. As much as you enjoy success, you ought to enjoy setbacks. I always tell people it's like a slingshot. When you get pulled back and back and back and back, and the farther it goes back, the greater the speed and the velocity when you let that thing go and boom. Don't just try to cut corners, work hard, sacrifice. Like, go after this thing called life. Don't don't look back and have regrets. Understand that you're at a place and a position right now when hard work, nothing can stop you, I promise you. No more excuses. No more I'll start tomorrow. No more just this once. No more accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more taking the easy road. No more bowing down to whatever unhealthy or unproductive thoughts float through my mind. No. No more. No more waiting for the perfect moment. And no more indecision. And no more lies. No more weakness. No. No more. Now is the time for strength. And through strength and through will and through unwavering discipline, I will become what I want to be. I will become who I want to be. See, folks, the secret is passion. Your passion's your heart. Your passion's your mind. Your passion's your soul. You've got to have a passion. And to get a passion, you got to love it. To win big, you've got to have a big dream. You've got to have a big vision. Every successful person you will ever come across has failed big, has failed often, but failure wasn't failure where they gave up. It was where they just learned what not to do and how they can go about it in a different way. They used every experience. How can this teach me about being a better person? to have better, to achieve better, to become better. As long as we're breathing, as long as we have breath in our lungs, there's hope for us to overcome, to persevere, and to to push through any object, any obstacle, any adversity in our lives. You have no choice but to focus. But sometimes, in day-to-day life, you can lose track of the long-term goal. It fades from your vision it slips from your mind wrong I want that long-term goal to be so embedded in my mind that I never lose sight of it ever and the little tasks and projects and short-term goals that you tackle need to lead towards strategic victory winning the long war but we want results now 
We want the shortcut to the winner's podium. We need instant gratification. And when we don't get the short-term glory, sometimes we lose sight of those long-term goals. They fade. We lose focus. So we stop the daily tasks and the daily disciplines that will allow us to achieve our goals. Then a day slips by. And then another day. Then a day turns into a week and a week into a year and you look up in six weeks or six months or six years and you've made no progress none you never moved in fact you might be even further from your goal than you were when you started you might have gone backward why why did you let that happen Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it. Do it. Make it happen. Because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. It is all on you. People come at life with the wrong attitude okay and and they don't like hearing the truth and the truth of the matter is this the world owes you nothing the world doesn't think you're special like your mom does it doesn't think you're a delicate little flower it doesn't care about you now with that being said the world doesn't hate you it doesn't want you to fail it just is okay And I see so many people going through their life with this overwhelming feeling of either A, the world owes me something, or B, the world hates me. And the reality is it's neither. What's common amongst this group of people that I find is that they're missing the understanding of what it means to be successful. Are there things I regret and things I wish I had done differently? Of course. Who wouldn't want to do things over until you have it perfect? But the fact is, you don't get that chance. You get one shot. We get one shot at this gig right here. Life. One life, that's all we've got. And the most important thing to understand about regret is that in and of itself, regret is worthless. It does nothing for you. In fact, the only valuable thing in regret is the lesson you learned, the knowledge you gained. But walking around filled with regret gets you nothing. So learn and move on. Don't let regret beat you down. Don't be a slave to regret. No. Let it teach you. Let it make you better. Your dreams and your goals are not going to come easy. And if they're coming easy, you're not dreaming big enough. Literally, dreams and goals, they should take sacrifice, blood, sweat, tears, absolute, total focus of of pushing yourself. And if dreams and goals are coming easy, I, I, I submit to you, it's time for you to ratchet up what you're going after because you can achieve more. Because without restraint, without struggle, without resistance, there's no growth. If I was a weightlifter, and if I wanted to, to get swole, right, and I wanted to be able to bench like 325 pounds, I couldn't go out there and lift just 150 pounds every single day over and over and over again and never think that I was going to get bigger. I would have to apply more weight more resistance, more pressure, and push myself. Don't find yourself right now hitting the autopilot. This is your moment. And you gotta look in the mirror and believe that. Hard work will always bring opportunities. Hard work will always position you in life for you to succeed. If it's easy for some of you, don't become complacent. Continue to find set goals, raise the ball, raise the expectation, but then don't be afraid to fail you, because failure is okay. It's not about you being perfect, it's about growth and development, and every single day, that when you look in the mirror, can you say that you gave today 120% of you?
It's all about learning how to be better, to achieve better, to become better.